Oh, hello there. I didn't see you standing there. I was just enjoying some of this freshly brewed fake coffee. I'm only fake drinking it because, as we know, it's not allowed to drink in lab. But let's pretend it is. And let's pretend I like salty fake coffee. And let's pretend my name is Bobby, too. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you standing there. My name is Bobby, and I like salty coffee. That's why I've got this salt here. What happens if I put a little bit of salt into my coffee? Well, as we know, it will dissolve if I stir it enough. Now, what happens if I put, let's say, six million spoonfuls of, of salt into my coffee? At some point, it's not going to dissolve. Why is that? Well, Bobby, at a certain point, we won't be able to dissolve any more salt into the water. The quantity of salt we are able to dissolve in our water is termed solubility. It is the quantity of material that can be dissolved into a solution before it falls out as a precipitate. Any additional salt that is added will not be able to dissolve and will only fall to the bottom as a precipitate. Okay, let's get started. We will need to clean and dry three test tubes. One more time. I will assign your lab group the quantity of sodium phosphate and calcium chloride that you will get. To dispense the quantity, we can do that right here. All you have to do is turn the knob. Make sure you get all your chemical by dispensing a little bit of water down the side of the test tube. This lab is literally just mixing two samples and watching them form a salt. From this reaction, tricalcium phosphate will be produced. Tricalcium phosphate has an extremely low solubility, therefore most of it will precipitate out in your reaction. Weigh out and label three filter papers. No, Dan, not in pen, because when pen gets wet, it runs. You want to weigh them out in pencil. Carefully place your solid on your filter paper. Now let's set up our filtration device. What we are going to do now is set up a simple filtration device. This will act as our suction when we plug it in to the faucet and turn on the water as the water flow will pull air through here. Now we want to set this here and this is our little filtering device as you'll see it's got little holes and you want to place filter paper in order to stop any anything that is not dissolved into the filter paper. So you then just pour it through here. If you get a gunk like that, you just add some more distilled water and pour it in. Uh, the filtration device is now pulling air from here out through here and mixing it with the water. So the higher the level of the water, the faster filtration you will have. Try your filter paper and weigh it. That's the end of this lab.